Greetings. In this video, we'll be discussing how to place your youth participants. To begin, be sure to log into pindex.org. That's www.pyndex.org. If you're having any issues logging in, be sure to select forgot password or forgot username or contact someone for PYN for further assistance. Let's log in. Once you've logged in, you'll want to click on the contract tab and select jobs from the drop down options. Please note that you will need an approved contract with PYN to assign and pay you with your site. If your contract has not been submitted or is in progress, be sure to reach out to your program director and or anyone else in charge within your organization. Next, you want to input your contract code on the leftmost column and your site will pop up. Now on the rightmost section of your program's row, as you can see here, you'll want to click on the workers button. Now you will see a box that includes workers already assigned in a list. That is, if you or someone else has already done so, or you will just see a message here, a blank, a blank, a blank gray box with a message that says no rows to show if these are the first youth to be submitted. In this example, these are not the first youth that have been submitted. Uh, you will click on the assign button at the top left corner, and then you should see one or more youth as pictured here that are one or more youth participants who have been quality reviewed by PYN staff person. Note, if you are not seeing one or more participants that you believe should be approved, be sure to make sure that all necessary documents were fulfilled and reach out to your contact at PYN for more information. Also keep in mind that after a youth participant has completed their online application, you would need to invite them to enroll electronically and begin to upload any necessary documents. If you can see the students that you would like to assign to your job, then be sure to click each available name and ensure that they all have checks clicked into their boxes like this. Before we continue, I want to address an, another possibility. If you're not seeing a youth participant in this list, it's possible that they, not have, been at, they have not been added to the contract. So here's an example. You would go to the participants tab and you would search a name and you would click details. Now, once this use credentials have popped up as seen here, you're gonna go right to add to contract. So depending on what your code is, you wanna select your code from the dropdown and you'll notice that although the effective start and end dates respectively are correct, that it's not allowing you to click submit. So to do so, you just wanna click the end date and you just want to make sure you hit the hit it again. I'm going to keep it at June 30th. And you'll see it's the same credentials. And now I can hit the submit button. So now this youth, as you can see, is tied to the code I want to tie them to. So that would allow them to appear here so that you can place them with your code. So once again, if you can see the students that you'd like to assign to your job, then be sure to click each name and make sure that there's a check in each box. If you ever, if you click outside of the box, it can mess up the order. So make sure you click each one. Next, be sure to click the start date box with the red asterisk and select the start date for you. Now, once you've been, once you're sure that everyone who applies has been clicked, you will click the assign button and it will confirm that these are the you wanna add and these are three you wanna add. So then you're going to click the submit button. These youth should now be a part of this list. The youth went from 34 to 37 because we just added three more. And they'll now be tied to the job and you will not need to do this again for them for the remainder of the program year. Important note, if your program is using a consistent start date 
for all your youth, be sure to click all youth boxes as we did in this example before entering the start date. However, if one or more youth have different start dates, only click those whom the particular start date applies and assign them. Then repeat the process for the next one or more youth with a different start date. So here's an example. In this case, let's give these two youth different start dates. So I'm going to select the first one and I will make the start date for today. Assign, submit. Now I'll have to go back. And this one, I'm going to give a start date for tomorrow. Assign, submit. This will depend on your program and how it runs in collaboration with the Philadelphia Youth Network. If you're unsure, please reach out to your program director and or appropriate contact from PYN. Thank you. This concludes our process for the placement of youth to your job. And as always, if you have any further questions, be sure to reach out to your contact at PYN for further technical assistance. Thank you.